There was a warning from Israel today that Iran stop uranium enrichment or face a military response. All the options are on the table. Israeli Deputy Prime Minister Shaul Mofaz, who is Iranian-born, called on countries around the world to impose tough new sanctions immediately if Iran continues to insist on uranium enrichment. And the window of influence is becoming smaller and I believe is about to close. Iran is continuing to advance toward the military nuclear capability and it's heading towards a major breakthrough. For us, such situation that Iran will have a nuclear power, it is an existential threat. And from the State of Israel point of view, it is unacceptable. If you want to give the diplomatic solution a chance, we must drastically increase the pressure. And even diplomacy has its limits. Nick Burns, former U.S. Undersecretary for Political Affairs who recently stepped down, an expert on the region and a former U.S. senior diplomat, agreed and said the Islamic Republic is running out of time. The ball is very much in Iran's court. Iran has a very good offer on the table. It should accept it. I think President Bush and Secretary Rice have been right to say that the object of the policy should be to deny Iran a nuclear weapons capability, not to hope that it doesn't acquire nuclear weapons, but to deny it. And there's no question that um, we have to have an international consensus on that issue. Both Mafaz and Burns agreed on calling upon the international community to step up. Burns described it bluntly. First, the international community needs to be much tougher about sanctions against Iran. Mofaz outlined his 